Welcome back friends, it's Ali DZ with a new video today. We're going to talk today about the different types of Gillette razors that are available in the supermarket. So if you've ever wondered what the difference between these different cartridges, the different handles are, this video is for you. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn the bell notification on this way every time i drop a video you get to see it straight away so just wanted to take a moment and mention a special thank you to all the subscribers the channel is now 1200 subscribers which is huge for me i really want to grow the channel further so try and like the video if you like the video so without further ado, let's get into the different types of Gillette razors and different types of cartridges. These are the three most popular handles at supermarkets in the Gillette family. So the Mark III Turbo is probably the most popular one and has been around in the market for quite some time. The way you pull the blade out of this is one single push at the back and the blade comes off. It's a triple blade razor. They also have a new variant with the Mark III Turbo, which is called the Mark III Turbo 3D, and has got a pivot motion that goes sideways. So the pivoting motion is not extremely evident. You will feel it very slightly, or you may not feel it at all, but a real handy tool for someone that's into head shaving. So the heads are interchangeable and fit the Mark III, Mark III Turbo, Mark III Turbo 3D and Mark III sensitive heads. So the heads are interchangeable. They are not interchangeable with the Fusion heads though. We will now move to the Fusion family. The next variation is the Fusion family and they have exactly identical heads. So the blades that these come with are interchangeable. Now let's go through the basics. The Fusion handle has an easy push button where you can change the cartridge. Nice and grippy all over. And also the cartridge pivots and this aids in a more comfortable shape. Next up, we have the Fusion Pro Glide, which is also a very popular cartridge razor. The difference between the Fusion Pro Glide and the Fusion is it's got a flexi ball that is also a push button to release your cartridge and change your cartridge. This has a sideways pivot motion, which along with the head pivot enhances the comfort of your shave even further. That pretty much sums up the basics of the handles. Now there are other fancier versions of the exact same handles. Uh, but this is predominantly what you will find in the market when you're at the supermarket. Moving further with the Fusion, as well as with the Fusion Pro Glide, they also have the power range. And what that does is basically when you press the power button, it's got a nice strong vibration. This vibration aids in a smoother glide while you're sliding the razor past your face. Most people argue that the power razors are a gimmick. If you use the razors side by side, meaning you use a regular razor on one side and use the power version on the other, you will see a noticeable difference in the glide and the comfort. Um, at least that's my personal experience. Now we have the exact same or similar theme with the Fusion Pro Glide as well. We have a regular razor, we have a power razor, Again, the blades, the heads, they are interchangeable. We'll get into the differences of the head as well, but comfortable shave and an even more comfortable shave. <laughs> Next up, we have Gillette King C's double-edged safety razor. In my opinion, one of the best double-edged razors out there. Um, my personal favorite for an everyday shave and if I'm in a hurry and I want to get the job done very quickly, I would go back to the Fusion Pro Glide Power. 
with the King C Gillette razor. The razor is made in China. The blades that it comes with though are not the sharpest, not the best. So I would probably use a different branded blade with it, a derby, a feather, whatever suits you the best or suits your skin the best, but an amazing, amazing razor out there. Next up, we have the Fusion Pro Glide Styler. This particular razor can be used as a power razor. However, the handle is not as comfortable as the other handles. Its primary design is to actually work as a trimmer. Now this razor obviously does come with its comb attachments and I've done a video on this. I'll tap a description link below and you can check out the full video on the ProGlide Styler. So next we're going to talk about the most confusing part which is the blades. What's the difference? The common theme with the Fusion cartridge razors is they have a trimmer at the back and this allows you to shave hard to reach areas such as under your nose or your sideburns with a lot of efficiency. Speaking about the differences of the blades, we have the Fusion 5, we have the Fusion 5 Pro Glide. When you compare these two razors side by side, visually they don't look a lot different. However, the Fusion blades are slightly more aggressive as compared to the Fusion Pro Glide blades. You will notice that the grip is slightly larger on the Fusion blades as compared to the Fusion Pro Glide. That just basically means it'll tug your skin a little more and give your skin a far better stretch as compared to, well, not far better, a slightly better stretch as compared to the Fusion Pro Glide blades. Next up, we have the Fusion Pro Glide blades and the Fusion Pro Glide power blades. You will notice that the Pro Glide power blades have this comb in here, and this basically aids in your hair sliding through the blades and giving you a lot easier, more comfortable shave as compared to the non-power variant, especially because when you've got the power on, you can hear that, and you are shaving, this makes the experience more comfortable. The only difference is the comb in here, and this you will notice does not have that additional comb. Difference between the Fusion Pro Glide and the Fusion Pro Shield. You will notice the Pro Shield not only has that comfortable comb in there, it also has a lubricating strip before the shave and after the shave, whereas the Fusion just has a longer guard in there. This is definitely more comfortable to shave with. The Fusion Pro Glide is slightly more aggressive as compared to the Fusion Pro Shield. They both, however, give you a great shave. The Fusion is much more closer though. Last but not the least is the Gillette Skin Guard, a two blade setup, which is completely different from all the other four or five variants they have. They are all five blade setups. The Skin Guard is a two blade setup, and this is designed specifically for people that have sensitive skin. Still has your precision blade in there, and you can see it's got two combs in between, and that basically is designed to elevate any sort of ingrown hairs or is more comfortable to shave with for people that have sensitive skin. If you were to ask me what my favorite combination is, I would take the handle which is the Fusion Pro Glide Power and pair it with the Fusion Pro Shield blades and that to me would be perfect. Now, if you are a daily shaver, I would probably more lean towards the Gillette Skin Guard. Now, as I mentioned, they come with all sorts of fancy handles. This is a special edition handle that they have, and this is available on Gillette's website. It also comes with a nice fancy stand, which is a magnetic stand. This also works really fine with the Gillette Mark III. However, it doesn't work with the Fusions. There is a separate stand you can get for the Fusion blades, and that is this one in here. 
You can find this stand on Gillette's website as well. Some people do find these cartridge razors and the refills in particular quite expensive. If you are wanting to cut down on your budget or save on your shaves, do yourself a favor and grab yourself a quality double-edged razor. This particular King C Gillette razor is $30 in Australia at the supermarket. You can buy good quality blades. You can buy a pack of 100 blades pretty much from anywhere between $15 to $30. And each blade will give you two to six shaves depending on your skin and the coarseness of your hair. Now, thought I'd mention the power razors run off a AAA battery. So there's no charging required for these guys. And it's the same with the styler as well. However, if you are grabbing a heated razor, this comes with a magnetic wireless charging stand. And this is a luxury razor, guys. I have done a very detailed review on the Gillette Labs heated razor. So make sure you check out the channel and you will find my review on the Gillette heated razor. Now some accessories that you can get for your cartridge razors while you're traveling. Now, if you need a travel case, you can get one of these Gillette travel cases that fit the razors just right. Just make sure that if you've got a fusion handle, you get the, the one with the triangle in between because this does not sit with the Fusion Pro Shield or the Fusion Pro Glide. The Fusion range has a very separate case and you'll see the difference. There's no triangle in between and this sits perfectly with the razor. You will also notice that it's got some gaps in here. That's just if you've got any moisture for the moisture to wear off. Now, that's the travel cases that you can get on Gillette's website as well, guys. Now, you really don't have to spend the money if you don't want to. If you get your hands on some old packaging, you will find these stands that come in the box. You can use these pretty much as a travel kit as well, which pretty much clamps in a pack of four cartridges as well as the razor in there and just chuck that in your bag. Look out specifically for the old packages that have these stands because the new ones are pretty much all recyclable material and they don't come with these particular stands in there. In terms of blade aggressiveness, guys, the Skin Guard is the least aggressive cartridge razor in the Gillette range from the Fusion family. Next up, we have the Gillette Fusion Pro Shield. Obviously, five blades, but still really mild thanks to the lubrication strip on top and at the bottom. Next up, we have the Fusion Pro Glide Power and then the Fusion Pro Glide. The difference, like I said, is pretty much the power variant. The glide makes it feel less aggressive and a lot smoother. And finally, in my personal opinion, I think the Gillette Fusion is the most aggressive blade that they have. If you have sensitive skin and you're using one of these razors and you start getting ingrown hairs, you know you want to change to either one of these or one of these. So I hope next time you walk into the aisle of the supermarket, you have an idea exactly of what you're looking at. If you have any more questions, guys, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Now, just know that this is not a sponsored video. This is basically everything I know about these razors from my personal experience. I have tried to look into information as much as possible, but there's not a lot on Gillette's website. So I basically had to try them all and share it with you. So you don't end up like I did in the supermarket a year ago. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn the bell notification on. This way, every time I drop a video, you get to see it straight away. It's your friend Ali Deezy signing off. Stay safe, stay blessed.